Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM Safe How to Implement Cyprian Connection Pull. You might have seen or come across the performance issue while using Informatica MDM Safe API. The one of the reason is the Cyprian client. Cyprian client is not thread safe. So the client which you are making, make sure you have the enough client in the your memory in your application memory so it is possible that the you might be creating multiple instances of separate client and those are piling up so it caused a, a, a memory issue so how to resolve the such a memory issue so instead of creating a direct separate client so it is always advisable that you should instead of create direct Cyprian client like this, it is as advised that you should create a Cyprian client connection pool. So the, there will be pool into the memory where the, all the Cyprian client objects will be residing. So how to implement such a thing? So Apache common pool have implemented that already. We have to just use that implementation. So we have to create our own connection, Cyprian connection factory and the Cyprian connection pool. So first we have to implement the Cyprian client factory like this. You have to use the jar file which is already available in, inside the resource kit, the common pool 1.6. jar. Even you can get on the internet. It's a free version. So there is no extra license required for that connection pool, common uh, pool uh, from the Apache. So you have to first create a Cyprian client factory class which should extend base poolable object factory with a Cyprian client as a uh, attribute. Then you can give any class name attribute if you are going to use that in your code. Then the you have to overwrite or you have to create a default constructor Cypen client factory and call the super constructor using super keyword. Then we have to write a make object method. In by this make object method, the client will be our Cypen client instance will be created. Here you have to pass the ORS ID, username, password, protocol, and the call URL. Call call URL is required if you are using protocol HTTP. If you are using any other protocol, the other properties are necessary or it is required to be set. Once you set all this property, of course, instead of using properties class from the Java, you can use the connection like using the property file like this. You can use the property file directly. Once you set the property inside the properties object, you can call the separate.new separate client and you will get the instance. Now the instance is available. What next thing? So we also have to override the methods such as activate object, destroy object, passive object, and the validate object. So these are the required objects need to be override. You can write your own implementation also. But here we are not writing our own implementation. Rather, we are just calling the super word with the super class method using the super word we can call the super class method super class method nothing but the, the method which are available inside the base pullable object factory class so once you write the factory class the next thing is we have to write the pullable implementation so in order to write the pool we have to create one more class called a separate client pool which extend the generic object pool which is provided by the uh, Apache common pool tool then we have to write override the method called a Cyprian client pool with this given parameter parameters are Cyprian client factory which one which is just created maximum active when exhausted action maximum weight maximum idle test on borrow test on return so these are the things you have to write we have to just call the super, no need to implement our own implementation. Of course, if you want, you can write, but here we are just calling super. Then we have to call the borrow object method by calling the super keyword. We are just borrowing. Then the return object, borrowing object will return. Whenever you call borrow object, it will, it will give us 
a object which is available inside the pool. Return object. Once we're done with the operation, we can return the object to the pool. Then we are creating one get instance method. Get instance is a static method, and we are get get instance will what will return. Inside it, we are creating instance by using Cypher client pool. We are passing the factory and the other attributes like the maximum interval, maximum active instances in the pool, maximum idle instances in the pool, and maximum wait time, which is in the millisecond. These parameters are required to be sent. When exhaustive grow, so this property you have to set. If you see the value, the va value is available inside generic object pool. The next thing is once the instance is available that is returned when you recall the guest instance. So this will return the Cypherin client. Then we have to also set the maximum active. This property is maxim idle. Gate number active, gate number idle. So these are the or other like set maximum weight and set maximum exhaust action. These methods need to be override in order to implement the Cypherin client pool using the generic object pool. Once you implement both the Cypherin client factory and Cypherin client pool, you can use the pool to retrieve the Cypherin client. Once you retrieve the Cypherin client, we, we can make sure that we assume that we got the connection to the MDM hub. So in that way, instead of creating a n number of Cypherin client objects, we can create a pool of objects and maintain that pool. Suppose if you have our application get called by the thousand calls so there will be if you don't use the connection pool or the cypherin client pool then uh, then there will be thousands instances of cypherin client will be there in the memory if you use a pool of the like the 200 or the 500 instance those pool of the will be enough to serve like thousands of the calls so how to get the instance in order to get the instance we have created one test client the name of client is sip cypher client we have written the main method inside the main method we are calling the get cypher client so inside the uh, get cypher client what we are writing okay so we'll write get cypher client from the pool this method will write we are going to call inside this get cypher client from the pool we are just calling cypher client pool one which we just created we are calling it's a get instance method in the gets instance method we are returning the cypher client pool and we got the connection to the pool and on that connection to the pool we are calling the bar object that means we are getting the object and on this object we can do the operations once we do the operation what we have to do we have to just uh, do the like the cypher client get instance and we have to call we have to just release the whatever we got the object so here we have to return of the which object we have to return we have to return what is the sample client object so this way we can get the object and once we do we can get the object we can do the operation and we can return this to the whoever is calling or uh, return to the pool so for now this is giving exception so just we need to handle that and this is done normally uh, the what are the logic we are writing inside this finally block that has to go into the business method not in this get siphon client pool from the pool so we have to get this then do the operation for example what I'll do the actual implementation should look like this we'll get this instance where this instance will be there the instance will be available here cyperian client like o save equal to once you got this save we have to write this our try catch block and inside try catch block inside the finally we have to write that release logic So this is the way by which you can create the instance and release the instance.
so you how to get the object from the pool in order to get the object from the pool you have to get the get cyprian client from the pool call that's method this will actually calls the cyprian pool it will get the instance using the borrow object method then we will do the operation where whatever the search or the update operation using the cpi we can do this and inside the finally block you have to release that object so this is the right way of the using the connection pool so let's try to access whether we are able to get connection to this mdm hub using this connection pool and connection pool factory in order to run just rightly run as java application and it should print mdm hub connection is successful what about the other thing let me clear this and run this again run as a java connection factory so we are getting no number of active threads are fine date number of idle threads are zero maximum number of maximum wait time the 300k milliseconds from where this is printed so in order to see that what you have to do you have to go follow the convention so how to trace down go to this first call will be here then the call will be go get instance and then the borrow object so we have to go to the borrow object it will call the borrow but what is the it is borrowing it is borrowing the get instance so go to the get instance inside the get instance i'm calling the cyprian client factory go to the cyprian client factory inside the cyprian client it's calling the super and it it internally would call the make object so the make object will what is having it is having the setting the properties and some other connection then it will active it will check the activator object if you want to destroy the object passive the object so it will return a make objects what are the object we got the once say the object is made so we got the instance and here we are printing number of active threads what are the maximum then the number of idle threads what is the maximum idle and number of maximum wait time that is what is the maximum wait time so this is what we are printing here and that is get print on the console so we can see that detail inside the console so these are this is the way to implement the cypern client factory and cypern client pool i hope this tutorial will definitely help you in your implementation of the safe using the safe api you can subscribe my channel for the more update about Informatica MDM Hub, SIF, IDD and any other related topics about the Informatica. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice time.